Hello everyone, this is Mohan from paultan.org and we are here today with the 2017 YZF R1M. Now the R1M is Yamaha's ultimate superbike and is a technological tour de force. Taking the standard R1 as a basis, the R1M turns everything up to 11. You get this carbon fibre fairing, you've got this amazing electronic all-in suspension, and inside the engine, all the internals are geared for the racetrack. The engine is Yamaha's Crossplane 4, displacing 998cc, and the R1M puts out just over 200 horsepower. Inside the engine, you get titanium con rods, you get different valves from the R1, and you get a specially lightened crankshaft. All this means that the R1M is designed to be a track weapon. This is what the R1M sounds like. The gearbox is a six-speed unit and it comes with stacked shafts. This means that the gearbox footprint itself is a lot smaller, shortening the engine footprint. The suspension on the R1 is very special. The front forks are 43mm electronically adjustable Olin's units. This means that there is no user adjustment on the fork itself and all the adjustments are made using the dashboard. At the back, there's also an electronically adjustable Olin's monoshock and again, no user adjustment required. What happens is all the adjustments to the suspension are made on the fly by the ECU. Adjustments for the suspension are made using the left and right handlebar pods. Now these handlebar pod adjustments use toggle switches and the toggle switches also control the right modes, traction control and ABS. Now the right modes are termed A, B, C and D. But from what we've seen from the manual, A would be a track specific mode going all the way down to D which is a rain mode with sports and road in between. The brakes on the R1M are 4-port Nissan calipers. Now, these are not your standard Nissan calipers because they do have a brake pressure sensor. The 2017 YZF R1M is not a standard Hong Leong Malaysia catalogue model and as such is not quite available for sale. Now, there are a few R1Ms running around on Malaysian roads, but those are grey imports. There is no official price for the R1M, but we would hazard a guess if it was being brought in, it would be about 160,000 ringgit or so. Competition for the R1M also comes from superbikes such as the ZX10R, which is about 105,000, as well as the BMW S1000RR at 107,000. I'm Mohan from paultan.org. For the full review, read it on paultan.org bikes. Thank you.